Crisis prayers are great because they help restore our sense of equilibrium and put us back in touch. But how do we maintain, going through time, our sense of God's presence, our sense of openness and joy and thanksgiving and connection to his spirit? Well, Psalm 95, um, 4 and 5, may help us with this. Because Psalm 95 draws our attention to the God of nature, Noticing the natural world, which is all around us all the time, can be a way that we become more attentive to the one who's created that natural world. I think of uh, the psalmist in Psalm 94 and 5 who says, in, in God's hand are the depths of the earth and the heights of the mountains. Well, in almost every viewpoint in uh, Paradise Valley or in Scottsdale or really in the whole Phoenix area, which is called the Valley, you see more than a valley. You see mountains, mountain ranges all around, McDowell Mountain Range and Camelback Mountain and Mummy Mountain and the Phoenix Mountain Preserve would be the ones I see most often. But there's South Mountain and, and there's other mountains as well that are visible. I think there are eight mountain ranges that are visible from certain viewpoints in the valley. And they are a reminder of um, the, the majesty and the wonder of God's creation and the variety of it and the way in which we can see it from different angles. I mean, the world looks different from the valley than it does from partway up the mountain and halfway up the mountain and the top of the mountain. Our perspective on everything, our changes from those different vistas. Isn't that a wonderful thing? And, and, and as we look around the natural, we, we turn that into a prayer of thanksgiving. The sea is God's and he made it. Well, that cast my mind back to the 17 years I lived very close to the area where really right on the shore where uh, the, the waves were beating and where the sun was glinting and where um, there were boats bobbing and surfers surfing and where the majesty of sea creatures was visible often, hopefully not sharks, that scared us out of the water, but uh, where, you could, where you were in touch with the amazing creation of the sea. And then uh, the psalmist goes on, the sea is his for he made it and the dry land. And that made me pray, pray this week as I read this for rain. And guess what? In the, in, we only get a few days of rain a year. We had rain pretty much most of the night, which was, which was a wonderful answer to, uh, to prayer. There are many beautiful and marvelous elements around us to notice with appreciation. God loves to give us gifts and enjoys it when we're able to receive those gifts. And this is a, a route, noticing the natural world, turning it into prayer that uh, can help us have a kind of ceaseless openness to the goodness and to the grace of God. Let's pray. Gracious God, the setting for life's drama is so amazing. Plants and trees, planets and stars, animals that fly and crawl and swim and scurry. We're grateful for that. Amen.